<clears throat> and we are live. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you wonderful humans. It's great to see you this Wednesday morning. It is 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. My name is Seth Spicer, and this is CCHS's virtual live health uh, exercise stream. We're back at it. We have another wonderful exercise progression in front of us today. We know what's going on. Not much has changed since Monday, but we are here with you live to deliver some support for us. We're going to exercise together this morning. Yeah, all right, here we go. We'll get started with our warm up, and I'll give the spiel as we go along. I'll give you all a second to grab yourself some water, grab yourself some shorts, grab what you need to grab, and get prepared for today's session. Alrighty. If you already have your water, that's fine. I need to move this up just a little bit. Alrighty. I have actually forgotten my workout paper. Go ahead, get started with whatever you need to do. Stretch it out, move about. I'll be back in 10 seconds. All righty, and we're ready to begin our workout. Day 20, free live virtual exercise stream. I return from behind the veil, ready to exercise you, me, and the rest of us. Chat is up and working. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to shoot them into the chat. And without further ado, we will get started. So again, bottom up for the warm up, hips, shoulders, uh, up to our neck, and then we are good to go. All righty. Warm up, starting with our hips. We're going to do step overs and close the gates. Go ahead and begin. Hold on to a wall if you need. And back. Step over something high and bring it on back. As always, make sure you talk to a physician before beginning any exercise routine. We've made this workout as adjustable, as enjoyable, as individualizable as possible. Go ahead and switch legs. Step over, close the gate. But as always, sometimes you have underlying health conditions, whatever it might be that makes it so that you should get cleared before beginning. All right, a couple more with this leg. Good morning, happy face candle. Hope you're doing well. Hope your Tuesday went well. All right, my hips feel good. Next up, we're moving to our open books. Hips facing forward, feet shoulder width apart, both hands facing forward, big chest. Breathe in, breathe out, and watch that right hand rotate towards the back wall. Bring it back forward. Repeat that process on each side. All right, keep on going with it. All right, and keep on doing that. A few more reps each side. Sorry, I'm a little discombobulated this morning. I'm afraid of spiders, and there was a really big and really fast fella screwing across the wall about two minutes before I started. He's free and outside now. You know, we're ready to carry on with our exercise routine. I don't like tiny things that can kill you. Not my cup of tea. Next up, shoulder circles. Go and get those kinks out of the shoulders. Again, who is this for? These exercise sessions, these live virtual exercise sessions are for anyone that doesn't have the time to go all the way down to some place to exercise. They don't have the money to afford a gym membership or maybe a personal trainer or what have you. Maybe you don't have the comfortability with going to a gym and exercising in front of other people. Switch directions with the arm circles if you haven't already. If that 
sounds like you, then this program is uh, for you. All right. Next up, we have our neck circles. We got a minute left of the warm up. Go ahead. Neck circles. I'm doing a couple of these today as we exercise together because I need that a lot. Again, our exercise program shouldn't hurt. It might get a little uncomfortable at some points, but it should not be painful, right? If it's painful, shut it down. We'll try something else as always. All right. A couple more neck circles. And then we'll get started here in 10 seconds. The beginning of round one, floor touches or glute bridges. I'm starting with a nice floor touch today in three, two, one. Ready, begin. Here we go. The beginning of exercise number one, round number one, floor touches or a glute bridge. Nice and slow. Push the butt back as if you're touching the floor. Picking up a baby maybe, and then stand up. The back should be relatively straight. The entire time. We're going for a minute of work to 30 seconds of rest because this is day 20, week seven, and we're getting a little harder now. Get it nice and rhythmic. If you can, because a rhythmic exercise is good for your brain and time, we're recovering for 30 seconds this morning. Next up, we have our reverse fly row combo. That's where we're in the bent over position, doing a reverse fly in a row, pushing our hands up to the sky and our elbows up to the sky. We're going for another minute, then we're resting for another 30 seconds. And enter the bend over position. Ready, set, begin. Here we go. Reverse fly and row. Again, if you don't feel comfortable in this position, feel free to put your elbows on your knees and do it one at a time. Again, this whole program is designed so that absolutely anyone can join in and experience this workout program together. Anyone can join in this optimal fat burn workout. 20 more seconds, we're still going. We're cranking through with it. Keep on going. If you're ever just joining, my name is Seth Spicer. This is the free virtual exercise training three days a week Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're three, two, one, and time. That is the end of that exercise set. The next exercise we have on the list is an overhead reach. It seems nice and simple. It seems nice and easy. And it is until about second number 45. And then we're really starting to get somewhere with it. I'm going to back up. All right. All you do is reach as far overhead as you can. And bring your hands back down, starting in three, two, one, begin. Overhead reach, back down. Overhead reach, back down. Now I've got to do this entire first round with you before I uh, start slacking off, you know, and telling you to work. But <laughs> I think I've made this joke before, but that's what it means to have a degree in exercise science is that you no longer need to do the exercises. You get to tell other people to exercise. <laughs> Again, a variation, one arm at a time, reaching up and overhead. In case your arms get tired, you can also squat halfway, 
push the arms up overhead, get a little bit of momentum going. I like that one a lot. Three, two, one, and time. Good work. I hope you liked that one. That was the end of our body weight exercise number three. Next up, we're moving on to a marching with an over leg reach. Again, all of these are always body weight. They will always only be body weight, and you will never require equipment. All right. So again, join me in the next exercise. We have marching with an overhead, I'm sorry, over leg push down. This is a march reaching over to the butt. Three, two, one, begin. We're marching together and we're gonna reach across the body, reach across the body. Touch the glute, touch the glute. Right hand, left boot, left hand, right boot. Obviously, there's a crunch down and across the body. And that way we get a little bit of core work. And there, I'll march forward to you. Good morning. I'll walk, watch, march back. Again, this is all designed to be an optimal fat burn range. We don't keep it too intense to the point where we're burning carbohydrates as a substrate, we make sure that this is optimal for you to reach your health and body goals. Three, two, one, and time. That minute went fast. I like that one. <laughs> Next up, we have our lateral squats. I think this is going to be the last week that we do our lateral squats before we go back to a double leg squat, only because those feel pretty good for a lot of us. A lateral squat, again, is like you're shifting your weight to either side, and then we start to drop down a little lower, like we're sitting in a chair behind this on a single leg. Starting in three, two, one, ready, begin. Shift the weight, and we're getting into it together. Always make sure that you're breathing during your exercises. If you've got a partner there to talk with, that's how you know that you aren't going too hard. If you can't hold a conversation, you're probably not in an aerobic state. 20 more seconds, keep working at it. We're all in this together. Sometimes I like to pick the foot up to get a little deeper because at this depth, the upper leg starts to be a limiting factor. I always preach to keep them on the floor though. Five, four, three, two, one, and time with that exercise. Next up, push ups. <laughs> find your wall, find your couch up. Very usual if you're one of the many people that watch this on recording on your own time you can use the wall you can use the couch i'll show you the wall variation today starting in three two one begin keeping the core tight push down to the wall and push back up the lower down the wall you go the more difficult the movement becomes all right you should be able to maintain in this level of intensity with the push-up pattern for an entire minute. We want the full range of motion for an entire minute. We're halfway. I want something a little more difficult. I can go down to the couch. Maybe you don't have a stable wall around. Keep that core tight. Keep on pushing. Ten more seconds. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good work. Good work, good work, good work. Hope you're feeling it. Hope it's feeling all right this morning. Next up, we have our shoulder extension, forward slash flexion. <coughs> and we also have allergies because the trees are finally coming out and budding. 
feels good, not gonna lie. We'd love to see some greenery for the first time in four months. New York State. Shoulder extension flexion. We're entering the bent over position. Join me. And we're going to be going overhead and back. Ready? Begin. Overhead. Hold for a beat and back. Hold for a beat. Hold for a second. Hold for a second. And we're holding at the end range of motion. Make sure you're breathing through the movement like you probably just heard me. Reaching as high overhead and as far back as you can go. Again, if you get tired, you can put a hand on the knee and do it back, forward, switch, forward, back, switch, forward, back, and alternate a single arm. and time on those ones. Alrighty, that is the end of our next body weight exercise. Next up on the list before we restart the circuit is an inchworm forward slash crawl. This is getting us comfortable with transitioning down to the floor, okay? If you cannot get to the floor and don't want to try it, that's okay. Find yourself a stable surface and push down into it, transferring your weight onto your hands, all right? If you're doing an interim to crawl with me, ready, set, begin. Hands to the floor, walk it forward. And we are here crawling together. Now we just hang out, hold it for a minute. I like to move around a little bit. If you wanna crawl forward, it's opposite hand to opposite foot. We want to keep that core tight, hips tucked up underneath you. Again, if you've seen me do this before, you can disregard and just keep on trucking. But again, your hips should not sag. They should be tucked up underneath you in a cowl position. Pulling the hands towards the feet. And if you need to come down to the knees, Push the hips forward and pull the hands down towards you. End time. That's the end of that wonderful exercise. We're going back to the top. Take 30 seconds. Grab yourself some water. Get your breath. Take a moment. Like our video. Subscribe. Share it. Tell your friends. <laughs> Awesome, 10 seconds. I'm going with glute bridges this round. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready, begin. Glute bridges or floor touch. A glute bridge, if you wanna do it, you put your hands by your side, feet underneath your hips, and push your hips up to the sky. Over here. I see it better. You might say, Seth, why do we provide different options, different variations? Isn't your program the best? To which I say, our program is the best because we provide variations. Because a health and fitness routine is about whatever feels best for you. We don't expect yourself to be consistent if you don't enjoy the physical activity that you are doing. So pick your favorite variation. It all does pretty much the same thing. And time with that exercise rep. For me, my go-to example are Brussels sprouts. If Brussels sprouts could grant me everlasting life, I would still die at a ripe young age. Age, ripe young age because I hate them, and it's not realistic. An exercise needs to be realistic and needs to be enjoyable for what feels good for you. Next up, we have our exercise number two, reverse fly row combo. Join me in the bent over position, and we're doing a little reverse fly action to a row. All body weight to a row. 
designed so that it's adjustable, individualizable for you. It's always free, always requires no equipment. We're pulling the elbows up to the sky together and the hands up to the sky to fly away in the reverse flow. Hey, good morning, Kelsey. That's my sister. Sounds like she's joining the exercise stream with us. A little late, but that's okay because you can always catch up on the replay. All of our videos are available on YouTube. My playlist is up to date. You can start in day one and go through the entire progression with me or Jacob Carroll or Adam Fox, whichever person is more your speed. I'm the morning guy, Jake's the afternoon, Adam's the evening guy, and time with that exercise. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have our overhead reach. Again, every exercise program should include a horizontal press movement pattern, horizontal pull, overhead press, overhead pull, vertical pull, a squat, a hinge, and some core. We have all of that. We always do. And next up is our vertical press. Join me in three, two, one. Ready, begin. Overhead press, down. Just reaching to the sky and pulling our hands back down to the side. We're going for 60 seconds of work to 30 seconds of rest. The first time I did this, I miscalculated. I said, <laughs> it's just putting my arms over my head. It's not too bad. I can do this. And I did one of the hardest. I call it week 50 because week 50 is the hardest week of the program, followed by a deload on week 51. And I said, I need to see how hard week 50 is. It's all body weight. It can't be that hard. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> a minute and 55 seconds of this absolutely crushed me. <laughs> and time, and time. But that's only because... I didn't work my way up to it like we're doing right now. Funny how that works. <laughs> Marching with an over leg reach, going opposite hand to opposite hoop. As quickly as she came, she left. Good morning, sister, and goodbye. Unless you want to show me another chat, saying you're still there. Huh? 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 <laughs> Marching, ready, begin. And reach over, crunch down, reach over. March and reach and march and reach. Touch in the opposite loop. Touching the loop of the knee that's raising up. This is core number one. We also wanted to get a little bit of rotational exercise in here uh, so that's why we are twisting and reaching towards the up leg glute because we've got a substantial part of our body that likes to rotate believe it or not five four three two one and time all right that felt good. Next up, we have our lateral squats. As always, if you aren't watching this live, if you're watching this on replay, we tell you at the top of our title, whether it's live or replay. However, if you ever need to get a hold of us and say, hey, this is the case, I like this, here's some feedback, here's some kind words, please, then feel free to reach out to us at connectedchs30 at gmail.com. Lateral squats, three, two, one, begin. Shift the weight and sit in the chair. And knock on wood, we haven't had any technical difficulties with the chat yet today. That's because I may or may not have threatened the Restream platform with its technological life. I said, I will delete you. You will be just another series of ones and zeros that will never return to my computer. And I said, in a slow, groggy, slow voice, sorry. And now we're friends again. 
keep the feet flat on the floor if you're just beginning to do this exercise. Not too long. We're going to progress to a split squat. We're going to light that. <laughs> Three, two, one, and time. Aside from being a lot less in pain in my shoulders since beginning this program, I feel like my VMOs are looking rocking from all the squats we've been doing together. I'll just throw that out there. I don't know if you're experiencing the same thing. Maybe, maybe not, but you know, a little bit of bro science on top of the real science, always necessary gains, right? Am I right, bros? Okay, <laughs> next up, we have our push-ups. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, begin. I'm going from the elbows today. Again, because you should do full range of motion for the entire time frame. This should be completely aerobic, and this should entirely be without the need for equipment. Always has been, always will be. If you're just joining, my name is Seth Spicer, and this is Connected Community Health Support's free virtual exercise training stream, bringing you moderate quality, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> exercise instruction from wherever you would like. No need to go to the gym. No need to leave your home. No need to pay for a gym membership to reach your exercise goals. Keep the core tight during this. We're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one more. And time. Good work, good work, good work, good work. The next exercise we have is our shoulder flexion and extension. We're back to it. Feel free to tell your friends that we're entering the event over position. We are here and we are reaching our arms overhead and pushing them backwards together. This is going to work our anterior delts, our upper traps, our posterior lats. Ready, set, begin. I said posterior lats. That's not a muscle. That's what we call a failure to communicate. I meant post delts and our lats. Basically, working to fix our posture, as many of our exercises do, and work muscles other than just our show muscles. Show muscles being the abs, pecs, the things people like to show off and say, look how big my biceps are. Well, never mind that you haven't done a back exercise in 12 years. <laughs> yes, yes. Always doing full body exercises here at CCHS from the comfort of your own home or your own space. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna stop holding. I'm starting to get too out of breath to be aerobic and time. Always, if the intensity gets too high, tone it down. We should be able to hold a conversation or instruct the entire time without being too out of breath. If you can't, your intensity is too high, and you're probably going into a fat burn, I'm sorry, carbohydrate burn mode, which is not the goal. We want to burn fat specifically as a substrate. Exercise science. <sighs> Inchworms to a crawl. Three, two, one, begin. <sighs> crawl down. If you want to work on practicing, getting to the floor and coming back up, again, this is for all populations. You can walk the hands back and stand up. Or again, you can always just push down onto any stable surface and that will also work your core if you don't feel comfortable. But getting to the floor for exercise is good because once you're on the floor, it's safe. If you're having a knee surgery, if you have a lot of extra weight you're trying to lose, that might be good for you to either get to the floor or to work on it without being in pain. Drop the knees down. Push the hips forward. Try and pull yourself forward. This is a tall plank from the knees. And if you can't hold the crawl the entire time, this is a perfectly acceptable variation to make, make this last the whole time. And time. Good work, good work, good work. 
if people can get through my trauma from the beginning of the episode where I was jumbling all over the place because of that spider, I will see this turned out to be a pretty solid session, I would say. <laughs> We're going back to the top. 20 more seconds before we begin our round number three of floor touches or glued bridges. I'm going back to floor touches. In five, four, three, two, one, ready, begin. I'm bringing the hips, the feet a little closer together. Feet a little closer together, making sure my hips reach backwards and stand up. If you push the hips backward, you will automatically enter a good hinge position. And again, we're trying to touch the floor. Notice how my back is flat. We don't ever want to be arched over when doing a deadlift. Why? Because we increase compressive forces on our discs. We want the load to be musculoskeletal, not axial. We want our discs to be nice and happy and healthy <clears throat> as we begin to age. Or unless if you're like me, you don't want disc pain at the age of 23, because that stinks. That is no fun being stuck in this position all day. And time. Again, we're doing everything in our power to make this a healthy, accessible exercise routine and to be an effective full body aerobic workout, not only to keep you in good cardiovascular health, but also so that you can reach your health and wellness goals. Maybe have a little bit of fun. Maybe enjoy the experience a little bit along the way, whatever works for you. Reverse fly, row combo, starting in three, two, one. Bent over position, ready, begin. I'm starting with a row, we'll fly. I was just a little close. Decided to back it up. I'm excited for when we can begin to go four days a week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Again, the intensity is always low enough so that it's aerobic exercise and that you can do it back to back. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. When we do go four days a week, the duration will regress back to 30 minutes, then 45, then 60. Again, our 60 minute duration will be two bouts of 30 minutes to make sure that if people need to leave, they can. Three, two, one, and time. Woo! <laughs> Next up, we have our overhead reach. Yay! I love these ones. <laughs> Just kidding. We're good. This is going to be great. We're going to love it. We're resilient. Starting in seven, six, five. Ready, set, begin. Overhead push, go. Reaching over our head together. Elbows come up, touch your ears. Hold at the top for a second if you can. If you've been here before, happy face knows that my shoulder range of motion is awful, uh, but getting better <laughs> every day, it seems. So it's hard for me, especially, to stay up at the top. Alternate if you need to. It's a little bit of an easier variation. <laughs> 20 more seconds, keep on working. All it takes is consistency, my friends. All you have to do is show up day over day. That's the only choice you have to make. Do you show up or do you not show up? You don't have to make the choice to drive to the gym. You don't have to make the choice to pack all of your belongings. Time, all you have to do is log on, press open onto this video platform, and you are go good to go. Yes, I do. We'll do that in the cool down, happy face. Funny you should say, I was thinking the same thing. Especially back here. They got pretty tight workout. So I'll, we'll do some some solid shoulder uh, stretches after this for sure. Thank you for commenting that in the chat. I love to see it. Always helps everybody else, I'm sure, is thinking the same thing. 
marching with an over leg reach ready set begin and reach and reach crunch down crunch down top of shoulder i will figure something out for you of course of course of course of course we got six more body weight exercises and i would love to figure out how to stretch the top of the shoulder with you come time i got you that's what's nice about being still a relatively small party is that all you have to do is come in into the chat and you basically have one-on-one -on -one virtual exercise training with the master's educated exercise science folk 10 more seconds crunch down and across if you're just joining thank you very much my name is Seth Spicer. I hope that you'll join us in a free bodyweight workout and time. Yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely stretch you out here sometime at the end, for sure. Next up, we have our lateral squats. Our lateral squats are a weight shift from side to side. It's like you're sitting in a chair. These ones feel good. It's our squat pattern. For the exercise today, I get them hit the full body every time. Ready, begin, shift to the right, sit in the chair, shift to the left, sit in the chair, never need any equipment, sit in the chair, never will need any equipment I have to pay, stand up. And again, what we really, really like to emphasize is the exercise, physical activity, it doesn't have to be some big object, it doesn't have to be some stressor in your life that you have to do. It can just be something that you do really quick at home, right? It's not, it's not that crazy. It's not that serious. We can just get moving a little bit from your home or maybe even from your front yard if it's a nice day out like it is here. No stress. Maybe some sweat, but <laughs> thank you all for joining. It's always good to have a little community of people here together. Five four, three, two, one, and time. Next up, we have our push-ups. Feel free to find the wall. The farther down the wall you go, the harder the exercise becomes. You can use a couch, a desk, any stable surface, or you can do all the push-ups from the floor. I'll stick with the couch the entire time for this bout. A table works just the same. Three, two, one, ready, core tight, and begin. Push ups, push ups. Make sure it's at an intensity where you can go for the full time. Full range of motion the entire time. When you go full range of motion, you work the entire muscle belly. You can actually increase your range of motion from resistance training. If you do it right, you can go through the full range of motion, especially eccentric like so, or concentric like so. Eccentric is muscle length, <laughs> muscle lengthening like so, slowly working down. And then muscle shortening is the concentric where we're actually doing the pushing in the case of the push-up. Eccentric, concentric, and time. I'll tell you more a little later on about why eccentric versus concentric is important. But for now, we're just going to carry on with the exercise session. Shoulder flexion and extension is next. And if you ever, ever have any questions, I also started an account called Spicer Sports Performance. Or you can go to our Instagram at ConnectedCHS. And we're going to begin posting more educational information there about what's going on with our bodies or just other healthy habits during exercise. Bent over position, shoulder flexion extension, and three, two, one, begin. Arms overhead, arms back. If you don't feel stable in this position, put one arm on the thigh and one arm at a time. Good. Keep on rocking with it. Up and back, forward and back. Hold at the top for just a second. 
forward and back. Twenty more seconds. Keep on working. Again, the intensity should be right for you. I'm just gonna start swinging them a little more, making sure I push into the end range of motion, but not hold it at the top because I'm getting tired. Three, two, one, and time. Again, tired, uncomfortable, but not painful. If you get painful. Shut it down, take a rest. Shoot me in the chat really quick and say, hey, not feeling so hot. Maybe I will sit the third rep out unless you have something for me really quick to stretch it out. And I'll try it on the fly, hit you up with something. The top of the shoulder is a little difficult. That's why I'm waiting to the end of the workout today. Last set, inch warmer to crawl. Three, two, one, begin. Down into the crawl position. Push your hands if you're standing into a couch corner. If you're standing into a couch corner, you're bent over the couch and you push down into it. Pushing the couch down into the floor. And that will activate your core. I'll join the rest of you in a crawl position. We're just hanging out here. Again. We love a good shoulder floss, keeping the arms straight, letting the shoulders sag down and coming back up, keeping the core tight. I'm gonna switch over to the tall plank position, pushing down into the floor and pulling back, pushing the floor down behind us. Three, two, one. And ladies and gentlemen, and that was all she wrote. We are done with that workout for today. Another great job. Another great day. You should be proud of yourself for tuning in. In 10 seconds here, we're going to begin our cool down. And during that time, we'll hit a little something special for our arms, our shoulders specifically. I bet you're feeling your anterior delt and your lateral delt. Maybe if it's right here up in the trap, that's a little bit farther up the shoulder. Let me know. Happy face. If it's, whoop, let me know if it's here or if it's here all right in the chat until you shoot that in we're gonna do some leg shakes shake it out kick it out swing the arms a little bit breathe through the nose Breathing through the nose activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the one that's responsible for rest and digest. T-shirt seam, not neck. Perfect. Great description. I know it's hard sometimes over the top of virtual training to understand what we're talking about. And communication like that is really important and really helpful. Awesome. All right. So if you'd like, you may keep shaking it out. Give yourself some bear hugs. T-shirt seam going all the way around. All right. And again, as long as it's not pain, happy face, right? That's good. If it's feeling just a little generally tight, I can help you with that. Cool. So the t-shirt seam, the anterior delt is a little difficult. The lateral delt is very difficult. And the posterior delt is pretty easy to stretch. All right. So the first one, I know you said this doesn't, this isn't the same place, but this will stretch if you go not across but down and across, that should provide a little bit of stretching for the posterior capsule, the posterior delt as well. Of course, it's all connected. What you might be looking more specifically for is finding some sort of surface, maybe a door frame behind you, and you put your palm flat on the surface, and you press your chest up to the sky or press this down behind you. What I think feels a little bit better is when you actually take your palm, push it down, and you stretch the elbow up to the sky by pushing down on it, almost like you're entering the sprinting position. But now we're just pushing down, getting a stretch like that in the anterior capsule. Stretch gently. All right. Stretch gently. 
and if either of those either of those feel all right for your shoulder to try and start to get that worked out a little bit that's great another thing you can do is really this is all sorts of stretching as a form of tissue manipulation um, there's other things you can do as well aside from just pure stretching if you like stretching and you think stretching feels good for you by all means carry on soldier however there's also release uh, release can be like massage, manual massage. Uh, it can be foam rolling, if you've ever heard of a foam roller. Uh, it could be, oh, what I really like is taking a lacrosse ball, baseball, softball, any sort of firm surface, putting it on the floor and just putting my shoulder into it. And that's called a release. And if the softball is right here and I put it on my shoulder and gently work around on it, I think that one especially would be great to hit if you're going to hit any of the muscles, we have the front one right there, the lateral one right there, and the posterior one back there. I think if you're trying to hit the middle fingers here, the release might be the best way to really hit that. I'll stick around. I'll do my classic cool down spiel. Let me know which one of those feel best for you. If you don't have any sort of firm surface laying around, any sort of sport ball will do. My pleasure. I hope that helps. I really do. Um, I know it's hard virtually. Um, but this, the stretch um, and the release on the shoulder are probably your best bet for that one. Um, there's also the thought in the exercise science world that if something's feeling tight, the problem point is coming from some other place. So the question is, why is this muscle specifically tight? Oftentimes your muscles work in complexes together. So not just your delt, but maybe your super Super spinatus up here is a working kind of thing too. Again, that's kind of hard to judge without being in person and seeing how you move. But I encourage you to also work on progressively relaxing your traps, your pecs, and working out your wrists a little bit too. Again, a lot of times things work in patterns. It's hard to explain from here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic on our cool down, if you don't have any further questions in the chat, I'll do one of these numbers. Bada boom, bada bang. I'm sweaty too. It's not just you. Today's topic of discussion. Again, I try and hit on some of the pillars of CCHS's behavioral change, lifestyle, medicine, really. Um, we have sleep, nutrition, uh, physical activity. We have social, environmental conditions. Um, we have mindset matters. Uh, we have personal finance to make sure that we can afford whatever we need to to take care of our bodies, budget out times to take care of our bodies. And we have policy change in the local and national area someday. Today, I'd like to talk about some mindset details. I know you've heard me before talking about how you need to be mindful of your, you know, behaviors of your thoughts, especially and how that can create a more fulfilled day, right? A more, more control over your actions, right? Another facet, facet of sports psychology, exercise science, um, is what's called hardiness. Um, there are three facets to hardiness. It's uh, basically the first one is how you frame things, right? Is it something that happens to you or is it something that you perceive as a challenge? So that's why I love the saying challenge accepted because uh, framing that in your mind can make anything a more enjoyable experience, not only, but also a motivator, right? So perhaps exercising every day might be scary at first or you could take it as a challenge, right? Or it can just be a fun time showing up with us, right? So basically the framework of which you perceive different things. The next number two out of three is control. It's how in control of your actions do you perceive yourself to be, okay? Um, now I believe in free will and I, and I hope that you do too. And basically what's that to say is that at the end of the day, we can change our environment. We can change our behaviors to help us reach those goals a little more. At the end of the day, I believe that we are in control. The only problem isn't us, it's that we have so many series of barriers that prevent us from reaching our health goals, right? Our systems, our lifestyles are designed in ways that keep us from reaching those health goals. It's not a problem with you, it's a problem with lifestyle design at this time. And we can start to chip away at that. Those are things that we can change, all right? So how in control of you, of your actions, do you believe you are and how you frame different challenges and approaches that come up to you. Um, so those are two facets of hardiness. Um, that might be might be pretty solid for today. Um, challenge, 
control. And I'm not going to lie. I'm blanking on the third right now. I've wrote, written a whole lot about it. But we'll come back to it more. Check our blog posts. <laughs> Check our posts on different social media. Be hearty. If you have any questions, shoot them in the chat. Reach out to us at connectedchs30 at gmail.com. Press against the floor. Did good. Nice. All right. You'd love to hear it. All right. Cool. If you've never had a roller before, I love my roller. Um, again, you don't need anything necessarily. You can always just find a golf ball thing around or like a spoon to press into. I don't know. Right. Um, but I'm glad that worked well. All right. If you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to us. You can catch us on replay Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 9 a.m. 1 p.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much, as always, for the engagement. Thank you for showing up. Please tell your friends. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday and Thursday. And I'll see you Friday at 7.30 a.m. So that's bye, sir. CCHS signing off. Almost done. And about time. We're almost there.